Hi guys, today you are going to learn about Sampanas test. Okay, so this Sampanas test is also called back to back test. Back to back test. It is also called heat run test. See, in the previous videos, we have studied about open circuit test and transformer and short circuit test and transformer. So open circuit test, by using this test we can find iron losses. We can find iron losses. And by using short circuit test we can find copper losses. Okay? So to find the iron losses we have to conduct one test and to find the copper losses we have to conduct another test. Okay, so by using separate circuit arrangements. Okay, so therefore the exact temperature rise cannot be obtained by using these two tests. Okay, so to find the exact temperature rise we are going with the Sumner's test. Is it clear? So, the only thing that is difficult with the Sampanas test is Sampanas test requires two identical single phase transformers. Okay? Two identical single phase transformers. That is only the difficulty with the Sampanas test. Okay? So, by using these two identical transformers, we can conduct a Sampanas test. Now, I am going to explain the circuit arrangement. See here, this is one transformer and this one is another transformer. These two are identical transformers. This is the primary winding of first transformer and this is the secondary winding of first transformer. Okay? And this is the primary winding of second transformer and this is the secondary winding of second transformer. Okay, so the primary windings of initially the primary windings of both these two transformers are connected in parallel to a supply, mains supply, rated voltage and a rated frequency. Okay, so this is the arrangement what we require to conduct this test. And this one is the wattmeter, ammeter. And to read the voltage, we are using a voltmeter like this. Okay. So enter this arrangement is connected to a supply source that is having rated voltage and rated frequency. Okay. So this is the main supply. Main supply. And the secondary windings are connected in series subtractive polarity. Series subtractive polarity. Again, the same arrangement is used like this old meter, M meter, and watt meter. These two windings, that is the secondary windings of both the transformers, are connected. Series subtractive polarity. See, this is the auxiliary supply. Auxiliary supply is provided by using a auto transformer. So, by using auto transformer, we can vary the voltages according to our requirement. Again, this auto transformer is connected to the main supply like this. 
okay so this is called auxiliary supply auxiliary supply okay see here the primary windings both the primary windings of the transformer are connected in parallel and these two primary windings are excited from the mains supply mains supply so this mains supply will provide the rated voltage and rated frequency okay rated voltage and rated frequency this is similar to which test open circuit test okay and now the secondaries of two transformer these are the secondaries the secondaries of two two transformers are connected in series subtractive polarity which polarity series subtractive polarity okay so this is series combination is a supplied that means this series combination is excited from the auxiliary source okay so this test is similar to that of sc test okay so to conduct the superposition sorry conduct the sampler test what we have to use is we have to use superposition theorem superposition theorem so what is superposition theorem see response in the circuit due to all the sources is equal to algebraic sum of the responses when each source is acting alone each source is acting alone so to perform the sampler test we have to follow some steps that is first step okay in the step of one what we have to do is short the auxiliary voltage we have to short the auxiliary voltage in the first step okay means like this we have to short the auxiliary voltage in the first step and transformer is excited from the mains supply with the rated voltage and rated frequency transformer is excited from the mains supply mains supply with the rated voltage and rated frequency okay so here these two transformers are identical by correct or not initially before conducting the experiment only we have considered identical transformers okay so here the resultant loop voltage is zero that is the emf induced is zero because these two windings are connected in which polarity series subtract to polarity okay now the only thing what we will get from this step one is this step one is ammeter reading ammeter reading so which ammeter reading it is this one this ammeter reading is equal to 2 to the not okay to the not and this watt meter reading watt meter reading it is equal to you cannot say the exactly equal to it is approximately equal to 2 into w i what is w i iron masks in the step 1 the main observation is only the main source is acting main source is acting so we can say open circuit test is going on oc test is going on okay and in the next step what we are doing is in the second step what we are doing short the main supply short the main supply in the sense at this point short the main supply and conduct the test by using this auxiliary supply in the second step okay so at this point 
time what happening step 2 the step 2 what we are doing what we are doing we are applying the auxiliary voltage so by means of auxiliary voltage what we are doing is we are applying the rated current of the secondary windings rated current rated i of secondary windings okay so we can apply the rated current of the secondary windings by varying this terminal okay so by simply it is a regulator like arrangement and by varying the regulator we can uh, send the required current for the secondary windings by using this uh, ammeter okay so here this uh, we will get the ammeter reading which ammeter reading it is this one that is let us say i2 and we will get the watt meter reading is approximately equal to 2 into copper losses 2 into copper loss here what is the main observation here what is the main observation auxiliary source is connected this test is similar to that of short circuit test Okay, and the step three, this is the main step. Okay, the step three, what we are doing is we are making the two sources to act simultaneously. Two sources to act si simultaneously. So we can write sources are acting simultaneously. See, whenever the sources are acting simultaneously, up to some period of time, temperature will increase up to some time. Temperature increases for some period of time. Okay? After that, temperature will not rise. Okay? The temperature remains constant after some time. Okay? So, uh, this raising temperature of the machine is observed by using some temperature detectors like uh, resistance temperature uh, detector. Okay? So, with like this, we can measure the raising temperature of the transformer using Thumpner's test. Okay? Here, what are the iron losses? See here. What are iron losses? We have conducted OC test. In the sense, we found iron losses. We have conducted SC test. In the sense, we found copper losses. What are iron losses? In the sense, what meter reading? Watt meter 1. See, this is the watt meter 1, let us say. Watt meter reading, watt meter 1 by will use the iron losses will use the iron losses if you consider this is second watt meter copper losses which copper losses full load copper losses see full load copper losses and get by watt meter 2 by 2 here for the first transformer, the load is secondary transformer. For the second transformer, the load is first transformer. That is the reason why it is called back to back test. Okay, it is called back to back test. Okay, so this is about Sampana's test. Thank you.